It's Christmas time. Oh, hello everybody. It's me, Chris Smith, and today I'm here to review The Inheritance, which is playing in beautiful Los Angeles at the Geffen Playhouse, Gil Cates Theater. Um, and it is a play by Matthew Lopez, and it's in two parts, The Inheritance Part 1 and Part 2, and it's about seven and a half hours long. And I recently saw it with my friend Rob on October 16th. I saw parts one and part two. And you can see it. Um, some nights they have part one. Some nights they have part two. And on the weekends they have part one like at one o'clock and then part two like at six six thirty something like that check local times and i cannot tell you all how excellent this show is um it is a play that is based it's inspired by the 1910 novel howard's end by e.m forster the play premiered in london at the young vic in march 2018 and then it transferred to Broadway in November of 2019. And you know, it played at the Ethel Barrymore Theater um, in New York on Broadway. And it had um, John, um, what's his name, John Benjamin Hickey uh, was in the, in the cast, um, Lois Smith. Um, many people from the London production came over for the Broadway production. And it was running, it was supposed to close on um, March 15th of 2020. Well, you know what happened on March 12th. The All of Broadway got shut down because of the great pandemic. And they only had four performances left to go. So the show played like 46 previews and 134 performances. Um, so I just hope that all those people who were going to see it that final weekend somehow were able to hurry and get there and see parts one and part two because it is a marathon to go through the whole journey. And you know, as long as it is seven and a half hours altogether, you don't feel like you're in there a long time because it moves quickly. It's... um entertaining it's very compelling and dramatic and look at this nice little bag that we got with it a new play generations in the making the inheritance now this isn't a this was a, the opening weekend thing that i went to and we even got dinner my dinner was pan seared salmon isn't that nice served with asparagus risotto and lemon broccoli and it was delicious and here is the card that that they were that advertises it now I must say the show it was playing it started in October and it's playing through November 27th so I know this review is coming a little late um, so I do apologize if you're in the Los Angeles area or somewhere in California. Try and get down to the um, the Geffen Playhouse and see this show. Now this gentleman is not in the show. He was in all the ad advertisements and posters. And apparently he was injured early on. I don't know if it was during previews or if it was during rehearsals. But they had to delay opening, and then they replaced him with um, with another actor. So they brought in um, for the role of Adam and Le the roles of Adam and Leo. They brought in Bradley James to I don't know how to say his last name Tejeda, perhaps um, to play. Um, this these roles and um, he had also done it on Broadway I do believe 
it says that he was, yes, he was in Broadway's The Inheritance. So, isn't that nice? Um, the show is directed by Mike Donahue. And, as I said, it's written by Matthew Lopez. And um, it's very good. It's about a group of gay men. And it's sort of like the next generation um, of, of men coming up after, after the horrors of AIDS in the 80s and 90s. And like the current generation. And what they owe to the previous generation of people who who lived with AIDS and people who died with AIDS, um, people who fought, you know, um, fought against the government, who did nothing, the Ronald Reagan administration, he did very little, if anything, wouldn't even say the word AIDS. And, um, and what what that generation perhaps owes to the new generation you know did they they've already done the work and paved the way for these these new new people um so yes it's it's very deep look here is the cast look i'll show you on here this is the cast of the show except for poor Nick Ash, who's who's the one who was playing those roles, Adam and Leo, but had to leave the show. So now it is this young man. Um, it won the 2020 Tony Award for Best Play. Vogue says, a masterpiece. It flew by and left me wanting more. The New York Times says, a blockbuster. I challenge any theater goer with a heart not to cry. And let me tell you, you will cry. There were people sobbing in this show. I mean, people gasping. What I loved, it's one of those theatrical experiences where the audience is there for it. Because if you're coming to a seven and a half hour show, um, you have committed yourself to the experience. You're not just wandering in off the street because it's raining or something. And, <laughs> to quote something from Tootsie, um, <laughs> or paraphrase, um, no, you're there because you want to see this show, and this audience, you could hear a pin drop. I don't think I ever saw anyone get up and go to the bathroom, or, you know, you got, in Act 1, you got two intermissions, and then there was a dinner break. And then you come back and you have another long act with two intermissions. So it's set in Manhattan. Eric and Toby are 30-somethings who seem to be very much in love and thriving. This is their description. But on the cusp of their engagement, they meet an older man haunted by the past and a younger man hungry for a future. Chance meetings lead to surprising choices as the lives of three generations interlink and collide with explosive results. Now, um, I'm not going to say too much about this show because there are twists and turns and surprises in it, and I don't want to give them away. The, um, the ending of Act One is a killer. It's amazing. Here's some of the cast from the L.A. production. And like I was saying, I believe, this is not a touring production. I'm sure you there will be productions of The Inheritance popping up. And I'm not sure if there's going to be a national tour. This is an L.A. production. It is amazing. Some people say it's better than the Broadway production. Many people say... The casting is more diverse. It was a largely white cast, I'm told, on Broadway, which I find really hard to believe because, you know, I mean, it's a group of gay men. It's set in Manhattan. 
seems like it would lend itself to being cast in a diverse way. I don't have the whole cast list in front of me from Broadway, but um, here's some of the inside of the program. Uh, the Inheritance Part 1 and Part 2. Here is the cast of characters. Um, it has um, Adam Cantor is in it. You remember him from Rent and Fiddler on the Roof and many things. Um, Casey Mahaffey is in it. Um, Tuck Watkins of, of Desperate Housewives and One Life to Live. Here's some of the actors. Understudies. Understudies are very important nowadays, y'all. I mean, they always were, but now... And with a cast this big, too, you have to have people ready to go on. Um, covers, understudies, understudies for the understudies. I mean, everybody that does these productions are so well trained. And they're so good at their craft. So you know you're going to get a good experience no matter who's on. But I can't say enough about the inheritance. You must, if you can, get down to the Geffen Playhouse or get up to it if you're down in San Diego. And um, I'm sorry it took me a month to review this, but it's playing through November 27th, so you still have a little bit of time. So, okay. Thank you, everybody, and we'll see you next time at It's Christmas Time!